provide the correct instructions and we'll give you the sample right away. Uh, Mr. Assessor, can I please confirm if all pre-checks have been done? All pre-checks have been done. This includes identification of the patient and the allergies. All right, I'm ready to begin, Mr. Assessor. 10 minutes, candidate ready, steady, start. As I enter the scene, I check the seat for safety. I will close the doors or draw the curtains to provide privacy and I will put my hand button on to locate the right line. Pump the pump, pump the door, some pump the door, some interlace, interlock, interlock, thumb, thumb, fingertips, fingertips, wrist. Um, since my patient has already been identified, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand um, this urine collection bottle to my patient and I will instruct my patient um, to collect um, a sample urine. But prior to collecting the sample urine, I will strictly instruct my patient to wash um, the peri perineal area with soap and water and pat it dry from front to back, especially for our female patients. Um, and to make sure that um, the patient is going to wee or pass urine continuously and to catch the middle part of the urine or what we call the midstream urine. Um, after catching the midstream urine, the remainder of the urine, the, the patient will just pass it out continuously. And then afterwards, I will ask my patient to come and bring the sample to me. Here's your sample. Thank you, um, Mr. Assessor. So I will make sure that as I receive the patient's urine sample, it should be properly labeled with my patient's details. And I'm now going to perform um, the dipstick. Since all my apron as, are in date as verbalized by Mr. Assessor, I'm happy to use this. Um, Mr. Assessor, can I just confirm as well that my tray no longer needs cleaning? Yes, the tray no longer needs cleaning. My ketones is negative as well and following that the specific gravity the pay, the urine specific gravity is 1.005 okay. so it's negative negative 1.005 um, for it's been one minute or 60 seconds so I'm now going to read so the patient's um, blood is it's 25 plus mm -hmm. and then the ph it's closer to five and then the proteins is negative and then the nitrates is closer to negative okay. so the ph is sorry mr assessor so the ph is 25 plus sorry the blood was 25 plus and then the ph was six and then negative the nitrates was negative and okay. then my leukocytes since it's already been, yes, it has been two, two minutes, minutes or 120 seconds it is actually closer to trace okay. 
So there, I'm now going to um, discard all of this in the clinical waste bin, um, Mr. Assessor. Yep. And then um, looking at my patient's urine sample, since it's very um, concentrated or it's very dark, I will encourage my patient to drink lots of water. And looking at the patient's um, uh, urine dipstick, I can see that there are there is traces of blood. So blood, sorry. So I will make sure that I will look into the possibility of the patient having infection. I will ask whether the patient has any burning sensation or pain upon urination. And I will definitely escalate this one to um, the clinician for the clinician to make an individualized care plan. Um, and I'm going to keep the urine sample in a designated fridge, which is not more than or less than four degrees, so that just in case um, the clinician wants us to send a urine culture, we already have a sample. Thank you, Mr. Assessor. That's it. All the sticks that they will use, all the sticks here, eight. And then this is the bottle. There's the expiry date. And then it says here, guys, look, you can read from 30 seconds, 40, 45. So these are the seconds when you can start reading the strip. Okay, there we go. There we go. Hopefully that helps, guys. Ask questions in the comment box, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.